Hello, I'm Lynn Wolf, Managing Editor of Rural Lifestyle Dealer Magazine, with my Editor's Post for September 23rd, 2014. Advice from a parts dealer. Have trust. Jeff Griggs is President of the National Tractor Parts Dealer Association and Chief Operations Officer of All States Ag Parts in DeSoto, Iowa. We talked recently about the parts business from his point of view, including working with equipment dealers. Griggs mentioned two challenges that echo what we hear from equipment dealers, product availability and customer relationships. His take though on product availability is based somewhat on man manufacturer production, but mostly on the aging used equipment inventory. He says, there's less and less equipment. As it ages, it just gets worn out and there are only so many makes of each model. We're our own worst enemy because we dismantle those tractors and every time we do, it takes one more off the market. We're cannibalizing the opportunity, but along with that, we are finding other opportunities to recycle or remanufacture many of the parts multiple times so that they are not totally unavailable to the consumer, he says. Limited inventory plays into another challenge or misconception that he wants to clear up. Greg says, dealers see us as the enemy because we could be selling parts to customers who might be doing their own work as opposed to bringing the equipment into the dealership. And he does say that the internet is another gro growth opportunity for him, presenting another competitor for dealers. He still says that equipment dealers need to view parts dealers as partners. We are a lower priced alternative on used original parts, he says. The dealers need to trust us that we are going to offer them a quality product at a reduced price. Most of our members have warranties on used parts that are good or better than the manufacturer is offering. And we need to develop that trust, he says. Griggs also says that equipment dealers need to rely on their parts dealers as knowledge resources. We can offer a knowledge base that even some OEMs can't. A dealer may only know what's, what they're looking at on the screen. It's our lifeblood, he says. Using them as a knowledge source helps you build relationships with your parts dealers too. Dealerships are under pressure to be loyal to their manufacturers, including promoting original parts overused. Incentives to do so may influence heavily in choosing those newer parts. What processes do you follow at your dealership? Is it your approach to service to um, always go with new parts first? Or how do you factor in used versus new? Use your answers to those questions as a selling point with talking with rural lifestylers. Explain how it benefits them so that the parts expense is just not a mystery charge on the invoice. They'll feel more in control of the ownership and maintenance of the equipment and they'll appreciate the extra time that you spend with them explaining the repair. And that benefits both you and the customer in the long term. Thanks for reading.